YouTube, YouTube, what it do? Tis RC, tis the season. DR10M mid motor. Wanted to show y'all how I got this thing built up, man. Looking real nice. Real nice. Got my voltage reader on there. I'm gonna plug him right on in. Yeah, racing twin fans. That's right. Twin fans. Mamba X. The 6S. Y'all already know it. The faux pole castle sensor. Everything clean too, man. Real clean running up under there. All the wires is wrapped. Coming up from the fan right here. Two of them. My sensor wire. And my uh, servo wire. Everything coming. Going from this post. Over to that post underneath there, and come back, wrap, and then come up, and boom, go in. And then they flattened out, all of them flat, just like them flat, coming up and out of there, running around. So, cleanest build on scene yet on YouTube. Challenge that. When I say clean, I mean clean. It's neat. It's tucked. You're not going to see nothing up under there. Nothing. Look at that. The wires is tucked, bro. So good. You know? So, <clears throat> wanted y'all to see my build. Like I said, I'm running the Mamba X, the castle system, pretty much. The 6S one. Y'all already know it just depends on how you, you know, got your suspension and what lipo battery you running. That's the stock uh, wheelie bar. Um, I got the Proline screws. Took some stuff from my DR10. And of course, I'm running that um, the Noble MB4. That's what you see sitting over there in the corner. Pro lines. Reactions in the back. Users in the front. Now the shocks I did a little. Some, some too. I, you know, put my own little twist to them. Because they weren't too bad, man. It was pretty good, actually. So, I forgot to tell y'all. I mentioned too. This thing got the sway bar system on him. So, it's pretty nice, man. I took that plate, receiver plate, mounted it up here using my antenna list receiver from the Noble MB4. And um, put some juice on all the bearings. So when I say that thing spin good and free, oh man. Before I mounted these tires, I heard my gear on here, dude. This thing spin all day and it's quiet. Oh, it's quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Super quiet. But I finally got the suspension sitting like I want. Squatting, so. It's amazing how this this uh, sway bar worked better than the one that was on my DR-10. That was just this high performance sway bar. Yeah, at least it looked like it, you know, but uh, yeah, I had the one-up racings on here, sticking them out, and it made it drop a little too far, so now I'm sitting just right. So pretty much just went through the cars, took the wheels and stuff off, and set it down flat, man, and got the little tweak up out of it, if there was any, made sure it was level, level, then I went through and... Um, did a line up and a you know height and all that good stuff. No, no antenna in there. So only thing left probably to do is to to uh unsolder these and 
face them this way and probably cut them down a little bit more just to you know get a little little bit more resistance but yeah man this one came out here it came out good good now as you see that's my low c uh 22s that's my my girl i took the king of the streets right there and then they go my uh drag slash that never even touched the streets yet but then that's my personal uh build up there that's another carbon tracks base so that's why I got the drag slash never touch streets because uh you know I'm I'm converting everything over and then that's my DR10 up here with extra parts basically that I can use from it A arm shocks um uh, not the the ball the the ball cap whatever you call them I can use that front bumper if I want to so. Just kept it for spare. Willy bar. <clears throat> Thinking about swapping that, actually putting that over here on to my low C so but just wanted to give you guys a cap of it. And then when I took it out of Tesla Sweat these tires is somewhat kind of dirty, man, cause uh when I took it out and did a little test run with it. Oh man, when I tell you hidden, Zeus was hidden. This puppy hidden big time. So I'm digging that. I am digging that all day. So, but that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted y'all to get a look at mine, see how I built it. And you know, like I said, everything running down the center. And it's so crazy, man, on these weights. It's so balanced out, man. I'm 70. 30 right now and it, and and both sides is just it's crazy because i you know like i say you know i got this thing so balanced out man here go my power button sitting over here that's why i kept the antenna in even though i'm running the antenna list receiver look at that puppy right there there she go Get a good, yeah, right here. So, running that antenna, this receiver, man, allowed me to. And see, now you can kind of see up in here, man, my wire and how clean it is. I zip tied them to the poles, so ain't nothing wiggling around and then I ran this one underneath there my uh, servo and it's flattened out running underneath there so you know this thing real very 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 neat you know, and I got that plugged there and I kept it up top man that way I can run any size battery I want in here forward or backwards you know GPS probably gonna mount up front or right here, one or the other. But yeah, man, that's how right there. Clean, real clean, and smooth. Smooth like butter, it's not quiet, that is. Quiet. Thanks, spin forever. Spin forever. Just keep going, man. So. Crazy, right? Straight down the center, too. Straight down the center. Look at her. Dude, I held this thing up. Y'all gotta excuse my kids, man. All my, my daughters back home, so, and my granddaughter. <laughs> Only male in the house, my son. He, uh, King. You know, he got his own house and his kids, you know, one of the grandkids over here, he is his firstborn, my oldest granddaughter. She be with my with my oldest daughter and, and middle aged daughter, so but uh yeah, I got this thing, man. Oh dude. When I say she look good, she look good. And again, y'all the angles of her. Always, and when she sit, 
And believe me, them tires, boy, fall right on in. Fall right on in, so. set up that's pretty much how that go Just debating whether getting the Carvette or another GTR body or the Camaro Z21. I don't know yet. So, Rockstar, y'all need to sponsor me because I'm, <laughs> man, you know, I turn them out with the Rockstar, bruh. Got them going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is what I'm working with, fellas. And yes, I make my own, my own juice, my own tire prep there, buddy. So, that's not no green slime, none of that. That's my own personal tire prep. Yes, sir. And to be honest, I really don't like using no tire prep, but, you know, rules are rules. Man, the races I've been to lately... By the time my turn came up, so many people used tire prep so heavy to the point where I tried it just to see, man, and didn't use none, and got out on the track, and the tires was just right, sticking with what they had down there, so I ain't really had to put nothing on my tires heavy like that. All I had to do was just keep cleaning them off, you dig? So, yeah, about that. Gonna begin away my little, my little uh, sneak, my little tricks and shit. But that's it, man. All I got for y'all. I'm sitting here looking. Sorry about that. For one of my one-up racing, uh, um, shock extenders. It was up here on my desk, and now it's gone. It just disappeared. I don't know what that's about. But, peace.